everyone welcome back to my channel i'm going to jump straight into today's video because it's been long awaited this video consists of footage from us working on the nursery for the last two months so i decided to do the same thing i did in my toddler's room wallpaper was just way too expensive so i decided to go with decals and i got them from amazon i want to do what you want to we can leave and run away someday, someday. So I picked the pink color in this room and a few weeks after I hated it, I kept walking past this room for months without touching it because the color was just not it. I tried to love it but I ended up painting the room white and I'm glad I did. It made the room so much brighter and I was able to add the exact colors I wanted in here without them clashing with the pink walls. The pink was just not the right shade. At the time when I bought paint, everyone was out of samples, so I just picked it and hoped for the best, and I ended up hating it. So yeah, we just painted over that, and I'm glad I did. So a few weeks later, we finally got all the furniture, the crib, dresser, and we finally put up the curtain. This is the same one that I used in her sister's room as well. I just fell in love with the color. You're going to see the same color used throughout this room, and I'm glad I went with this color because it's just so girly to me, and it's just what I wanted for the room. I don't care about those My main reason for painting the room white was so I can paint this rainbow. I used the same colors and the method from her sister's room, but this time I wasn't sketching a full arch. I wanted the rainbow to not be as perfect as the arches I did in her sister's room. I wanted the rainbow to look like it was hand painted, so I didn't use any tape or any of that. I didn't want it to look perfect. I don't know where the rest of the footage from the rainbow is. I apologize. I did try to film everything for you guys, just sometimes I don't know where the footage goes. Cause I know the people get scared sometimes. Hope it's not this. So the dresser is what delayed this room, honestly. I picked a few from Ikea and I waited for them to come back in stock and they never did. 
So I picked this dresser from Amazon, but I made the mistake of not checking the dimensions before purchasing it. The dresser looked perfect, but it was just so short. Um, and I freaked out because I've never seen a dresser sit below my waist, especially since I wanted to use it as a changing table as well. So I ended up getting legs from Amazon and I had my husband put them up for me. Also the legs, just tied in the brass detail from the crib and the handles that I put on the dresser as well. picked up and cleaned up so we can just finish up this room closet is a mess too there's like tools and painting stuff everywhere and <sighs> trash as well so this bin right here is all recycling and then this gray tub and this tub over here have clean clothes so does this one so i washed and folded everything so first thing I'm gonna do is put the clothes away in the dresser. That way I can put the tools and stuff that I don't need in the bins so I can get them out of here. And I'm out of breath, I've been going up and down the stairs. I'm so tired, ready to get this stuff all put away. So now that everything is cleaned up and put together, I finally got to see this room come together and I got really emotional putting it together. A year ago today, I was pregnant, not knowing that March would be a tough month for us, losing a pregnancy, but I am grateful and extremely thankful that God has blessed us with our rainbow baby and we are really excited to meet this little one. With the text on XO, my ace boom boom, no flex, no. I won't gas you up like Petro, just trying to take you way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later, but you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me, yeah, you're all in my head. Like, you're my forever, not for right now. 
day one you hold me down Hard cold like the winter time Fight for your love can slow me down Don't go far I take me and you so I wanted to put her name above her crib like we did for her sister. Tala has had hers since she was a baby and it was my husband's idea to keep the tradition going for any kids we have. So this was a special moment for me seeing her paint her sister's name. It was really cute. So we are naming the baby Layla, which is Layla in Arabic. I love the name, I fell in love with it. It's just so girly and feminine and I don't know, it just it fit right for this baby. I had this name picked out for Tala as well, but um, for some reason Tala just resonated with me more as my first daughter and I'm so glad that we're having another girl because I really wanted to <laughs> use the name Layla. You said my world on fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You said my I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I had this room planned before I got pregnant again, so I loved putting it together. I will have everything in her room linked for you guys. Stay tuned for my next videos. I am in full nesting mode. I have to organize and declutter my kitchen, our closets, and organize all the baby stuff because I just tossed everything in her dresser to get it off the floor. So we have a lot going on over here and I'm gonna be filming everything for you guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old